Okay, today we're making chocolate billionaires. That's the name of the recipe, but they really remind me of those turtle chocolates that you get around Christmas time. Very much like homemade turtles. First, you need 14 ounces of caramels. And around here, these are sold in little cubes that are individually wrapped. And I worked it out and 14 ounces is about 53 of them, give or take a couple. And really almost the longest part of this recipe is unwrapping them. Then put the caramels in a saucepan over medium low heat with three tablespoons of water and just stir it every once in a while until the caramels have all melted. And once the caramels have melted, you're going to take the saucepan off of the heat and you're going to add the following things. You're going to add one cup of crisp rice cereal, like Kellogg's Rice Krispies or Special K, and one and a half cups of chopped pecans. And you can substitute whatever other kind of nuts that you like in this. Stir that around and then you're going to take a teaspoon and you're going to put it on by teaspoonfuls onto a cookie sheet. Now, I'm using a silicone mat here. Nothing sticks to those silicone mats. They're wonderful. If you don't have a silicone mat, use a cookie sheet that's been lined with parchment paper or with wax paper and then grease the paper, either with cooking spray or with shortening or butter. And then after you get your little mounds of caramel and pecans done, you're gonna refrigerate them for about 10 minutes or until they are firm. Then when you're waiting for that, you're gonna take three cups of chocolate chips and I'm using a microwave safe glass measuring cup for this. And then one and a half teaspoons of shortening. There's hubby in the background mixing some compost. So you can see how they firm up quite nicely. And you may want to add more shortening to your chocolate if it's not thin enough. The shortening really helps thin out the chocolate. And then one at a time, put the caramel pecan clusters into the chocolate and then just let it drip off a bit and then you're going to put it on a cookie sheet like so and you're going to refrigerate these until they are set and once they are set you don't have to keep them in the fridge you can just keep them in airtight containers and if you layer them in your container I would make sure that you put layers of wax paper in between them just to make sure they don't stick the caramel is actually quite soft in the center, so they're not difficult to eat, especially if they're at room temperature. And there they are. These are delicious. I mean, they're very, very good. They would make a fantastic gift for someone if you're looking for a nice homemade Christmas present. With the size of the candies I made, there was about 35 of them, just to give you an idea. And there's the center. Yummy.